there is there's a man, Sia Hounds, Greg Hounds, right on for <laughs> Greg Hounds. He's the new Conservative Party chairman. Let's go to Dan Falvey, who's head of digital news at uh, GB News. It's so boring, all of this. You know, a new department there of energy, security and net zero. Oh, my God, it just goes on. So who, boring, it hasn't made cares? any of the papers, yeah, really, it this is, morning. It is boring. It really is boring. And the thing is, this keeps happening. This is our fifth cabinet reshuffle in under 12 months. This, you know, in the past, cabinet reshuffles were a big deal that wouldn't happen very often. When you get to the point where they're happening every other month, Quite frankly, it just, I think, shows just how unstable, you know, this government is on, on many levels. Um, so is it, is this deliberate strategy on, on Rishi's behalf, do you think, to try and be bland, um, not controversial? Or do you think he just is unaware, perhaps, that he's not particularly going to shift things in the polls with this kind of policy, this kind of movement? Well, I think this all started from the fact that he had to replace his party chairman when Nadim Zahawi was sacked over an investigation to his tax affairs. And I think that was used, therefore, as an excuse for a wider shake-up. I don't think if that had happened, we would have seen this reshuffle. But following that, it was like, this is the right opportunity, we can do something here. He says that the changes that are being done will just help improve the Whitehall operation to allow him to deliver on his priorities. Expensive, though. So, it? expensive, yes. He would. Distraction? Distraction, well, he would argue that if it ends up working, then that's, it's worth it. I think what's really interesting for all the dullness is how much he's tried to balance this out to please everyone. So we've got Greg Hans coming in as party chairman. He was a Remainer and is MP for Chelsea. So as his deputy chairman, he's gone for Lee Anderson from the Red Wall in Nottinghamshire and a Brexiteer. So he's trying to please all of his party The Red Wall that. Rottweiler, as the some Red of the Wall papers Wall. describe him. Yeah, absolutely. He's well known for being willing to speak his mind. And that could cause some issues down the line if he's willing to continue to just speak out now that he's in a government position. But we've also seen, for example, with this new department they've made, this uh, Energy Security and Net Zero department, You've got energy security, which many people say is so important right now with gas prices the way they are, but he wants to then also show that he's not forgot net zero at the same time. Everything with Vishy Sunak is a delicate balancing act. Everything he's doing is... He'll be happy that it's boring and bland because, quite frankly, he'd say, I'm not causing any ruptures, I'm keeping the party all united and on side.